Hi everyone, it's Lynn. Today I'm going to be talking about my post-college experience. So this is going to be, I think, a three-part series just because I have a lot of topics I want to cover and I want to make sure that I get every single thought across. So this first video is going to be about employment, finances, and also um, post-grad education. So I graduated in 2016 in May and you know I had a lot of hope for myself. Um, I remember that a lot of people were contacting me for interviews and unfortunately I had to decline them because I was moving back to Sacramento and you know moving back to Sacramento was definitely for personal reasons and not just for employment reasons and I admit I was very hopeful because you know I had a good resume I had two internships and I really believed in myself so Moving back to Sacramento, I didn't know what I was getting myself into because, you know, I was applying for jobs and I wasn't getting calls. I did get a couple of calls, but as I did more research about the companies, they were just not what I was looking for or, you know, the position was kind of stated differently in the job description. And then when you kind of interview for it, you realize that the position you're applying for is not the position that it actually is. In essence, there are a lot of pyramid scheme jobs here. Yeah. Anyway, um, after I moved back to Sacramento, which was around September, I applied to Nordstrom and to a tutoring job. I got Nordstrom, which I was so happy about because I remember reading blogs of people who used to work at Nordstrom and they made thousands per paycheck and I was like yes this is the kind of money I want to make because you know I have a lot of student debt I have credit card debt that I want to pay off so I was really excited of course I also took on the tutoring job and um, at first the tutoring job wasn't taking off as much because I was working almost full-time at Nordstrom I would work 30 to 35 hours a week and um, a couple months in, I realized that my department is really slow, so I wasn't making the paychecks that I wanted to make. And after I looked at my paychecks and after taxes, I calculated that I was only making about $7 an hour. Which, I know it's better than nothing, but it just wasn't what I needed at the time to pay off my bills and just be able to kind of um, live, I guess. And um, because of that, I quit Nordstrom in January, and I was still tutoring at the time because, you know, um, tutoring was a rather easy job, and at that point, I wasn't getting tired of it yet. And so, right before I quit Nordstrom, I started waitressing. And holy crap, I wish I was waitressing in college because it's, first of all, it's not that hard of a job compared to Nordstrom stress-wise, and the tips are great. However, um, because I have a degree, I just kind of felt weird waitressing because I really believe in myself that I have the potential to do so much more. And I'm not saying that waitressing is a lowly job. It's not. It's a great job. It's fun. Great tips. But just personally for me, I feel like I could do so much more. You know, I have a brain and I love learning and I want to put a task to what I've learned. And um, I'm still waitressing and I quit tutoring in July just because I just grew tired of the constant driving. Um, at one point in the week I was driving 50 miles, driving to someone's house, to another person's house, to another person's house, driving all the way back home. And I know that's not a lot of driving compared to other people's commutes, but for me it was just was so time consuming and in the end my paychecks with driving and tutoring put in together, I was only getting paid about $10 an hour. It's definitely not what I was looking for and so I quit tutoring and I'm still waitressing. But, let me say something. Even though I am waitressing right now, I do have a goal in mind of moving back to Southern California just because it has a greater job market, it has really good food and of course it has my friends, it has my friends. 
um, my friends are all there. So I really do want to make my return to Southern California and I plan on it by 2018. By then, another goal of mine is to get a full-time job once I move back to Southern California. And it's not because I... I'm comparing myself to my friends and I'm like, oh, my friends have a full-time job, so I need a full-time job. But mainly I need a full-time job because I need the health benefits. Um, I'm almost 23, so I can't stay under my parents' plan forever. I'm going to need my own health care and to be quite honest, I need to go to therapy. And I'm not afraid to say it because, you know, I don't think it's a bad thing to admit that you need help. And when it comes to anxiety and depression, those are mental illnesses. And I feel like me going to therapy is just me getting medical attention and getting help by a professional. Okay. Going back to the point where I said a lot of my friends have full-time jobs, it is so hard for me to not to compare myself to others because, you know, you, who you spend your time with says a lot about you and, you know, um, my friends back in Southern California, they have these full-time jobs and even the friends I have in Sacramento, like people I know, they work for the state. They have full-time jobs, they're making way more money than I am and it's a constant battle to not just compare myself and every time I compare myself I'm always at the lower end of the stick you know it's just not a good thing to do and I'm trying my hardest to not compare myself because you know it can always be worse and I don't want to have to think about like being um, unemployed or having no money to feel better about myself but I think I think it's something we, we all struggle with, you know, and I think some people, they compare themselves to someone else to feel better, but for me, I don't want to do that. I really do believe that happiness comes within, and thank God that happiness is temporary because, you know, once I just become a little bit more grateful and I just change my perspective and I start feeling better because I could be somewhere else you know I could be in a totally different situation but I am where I am and I'm grateful for where I am I'm grateful that I have income I'm grateful that I have food to eat every day I have a car to drive I have gas and I have gas money so um once I find myself you know digging a ditch for myself I try to stop the negative by thinking of a lot of positives and I I just love that thinking positively just instantly changes your mood and then you know once you change your thoughts you can control your emotions as well so whew, I just try to stay positive and speaking of positive things I went back to school I know I, I said I was gonna go back to school last spring but you know with my anxiety and depression I just didn't think school was a good stress for me if anything school is a bad stress for me and I just don't want to have a lot of bad stress I rather have good stress so I, I decided that I would just take spring off and just try to focus on my mental health because that's really important so this fall I enrolled into two classes one is a mass communication and society class Whew, that class is a mouthful but even though I already taken it in my undergraduate class, I still think it's good to learn new things because technology is changing, the media is changing, society changes, and there's always something new to learn. And so far, I've learned a lot. And it's funny because in one of my first chapters, they talked about a really famous YouTuber, and I was like, this is relevant. And my other class that I'm taking is an After Effects class, which is an editing program on Adobe. And so far, so good. I finished an assignment really quick that my professor was like, oh, you don't have to come in the next day. Come in next week. And I was like, yes. Thank God I want to learn. Like, if there's one thing I really admire, my <laughs> I'm talking way too fast. I'm having, like, a lot of spit, like, kind of, like, build up in my mouth and I have to like anyway if there's one thing that I admire by myself and I'm just trying to be humble as possible is that I have the desire to always learn more you know I don't believe that I know it all but I wish I knew it all but at the same time that defeats the challenge and the fun of learning but I'm just glad that I want to learn more because there's so much to learn in this world and Speaking of learning, I definitely have learned how to save money. Holy crap. I never thought that I would be able to save over $1,000, but I did. I'm like, 
knew, knew, knew me who this. <laughs> Speaking of learning, how many times have I said that word in this video already? Anyway, I have been reading so much more. The things that I've been learning, the words I've been learning, and... Woo! I mean, I guess since I don't have a full-time job, you know, I have a lot of time to read. But, all in all, I am going to take everything that's happened so far as a learning experience. God, I've said that word so many times. Because it really is, you know, if there's one thing to always be grateful for, it's the lessons that we learn in life. And I'm definitely going to take this lesson in life just to remind myself that, you know, not everything's going to be easy, nothing's ever going to be handed to you, and <sighs> hardships make us who we are. You know, if everything in life was just handed to us, where's the challenge in that? Where's the growth? And I definitely do believe that this is a good experience for me and my heart goes out to anyone who's unemployed, anyone who doesn't have a full-time job and they've already graduated, they probably have a degree like myself or maybe they have multiple degrees and they still can't find a job. I am here for you, friend. I am in the same boat. Don't lose hope. Don't lose your mind either. Um, sharpen your mind, stay focused, learn new skills, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs> anyway, speaking of learning, how many times have I have, 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 have